What's up YouTube? This is Ben Bond of OAB Photography and welcome to another video where I give my opinion about stuff. In this video, I want to talk about full frame versus crop sensor. Which one is better? Now, as soon as you say your camera is a crop sensor camera, everybody kind of lose interest. <laughs> And you'll be like, no matter how great your camera is, as soon as you mention that, oh, it's a crop sensor, people will be like, oh, okay. But when I started photography, as I said, my first camera was the Canon T3i, which was a crop sensor. I loved the camera so much. And then I move on to Canon 6D, which was a full frame, and now Fujifilm X-T2, which is a crop sensor. Now, when I was using the Canon T3i, the only reason why I switched from Canon T3i to 6D was autofocus performance. Back then, I used to shoot wedding a lot, and most of the times, the autofocus performance on, on the T3i wasn't really good, especially when you're in the dark. It's, it would hunt for the shots, which was frustrating at times. So when I switched to Canon 6D, the autofocus performance was great. That was the only reason why I switched from Canon T3i to Canon 6D. Autofocus performance. It wasn't about if Canon 6D was better than uh, Canon T3i. It wasn't about megapixels. It was just autofocus performance at that time for me. In fact, I preferred the tones the Canon T3i gave me. It had great tones for my portrait work, which the Canon 6D wasn't giving me. But then I had to move on because I needed my autofocus really bad. I needed to nail my shot, especially shooting at f1.4, 1.8. I needed to get my photos stack sharp. Now when you ask me full frame versus crop sensor, which one would I choose? I would say it depends. It depends on where you are coming from. It depends on which brand of camera that you're asking me to choose. Camera companies like Canon, Nikon, Sony, these companies produce both full frame cameras and crop sensor cameras. Now, what I've noticed over the years, in my opinion, is that these camera companies keep the best of their specs in their full frame cameras. So if you're comparing, let's say, Canon T3i to 6D, obviously I'll choose 6D because 6D has good ISO performance, good autofocus, which the T3i wouldn't give me. Therefore, making their crop sensor cameras not really attractive because in terms of autofocus, the autofocus system on full frame cameras are way better than the crop cameras. The ISO performance are really amazing on the full frame cameras. The same thing when it comes to Sony. Obviously, you choose Sony A7 R3 over Sony A6000. Sony A7 R3 has better autofocus performance. It has eye detection, it has face detection, and the ISO performs way better than a crop sensor camera like A6000. Because these camera companies always keep the good stuff in the full frame cameras. They always keep the amazing features on the full frame cameras. Now, when you come to a camera company like Fujifilm, that specializes in crop sensor cameras. Crop sensor is their way of life. That's all they do. And also medium format, but I'm talking about crop sensor cameras. They focus on crop sensor cameras and they keep all the best stuff, all their best stuff in these cameras. Autofocus performance is amazing. The camera design is amazing. ISO performance is just amazing. In short, the camera is just so good that when I'm holding it, I don't care whether it's full frame or crop sensor. It's just great. The performance is amazing. I don't care about full frame or crop sensor. To me, in, in, in the kind of work I do, portrait and fashion photographer, crop sensor, full frame camera, it doesn't matter to me. What matters most is the performance of the camera. Is the autofocus good enough? Is the ISO performance good enough? And so when I'm holding my crop sensor camera, Fujifilm X-T2, 
I don't care. Because <laughs> whatever I'm looking for, the camera gives me. And so full frame and crop sensor, which one would I choose? If it is coming from Canon, Sony, Nikon, then yes, I'll choose their full frame cameras because their full frame cameras always have better performances. So yeah, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more opinions from me like this. Bye.